Well, good evening there, pipe smokers. How you doing? Old holy smoking pipe padre coming back at you. Well, greetings, pipe pals. Old holy smoking pipe padre coming back at you on a uh, Monday in June. It's very hot, hot Sacramento summer day. Okay, well, I've been away for a while, uh, and of course, as you probably know, we've been well, remodeling morning, as I show you our kind of space here, and uh, I'll roll a little B-roll, and uh, let you see some little uh, uh, a video of, of kind of the the disorder and the chaos and that has existed in the last month kind of like uh, with the remodeling. If you'll pause, uh, uh, permit me, I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit of Starbucks here. You know, I've got some. Uh, Starbucks actually makes instant coffee now. I don't know if people know that or not, but they do. It's not too bad. Actually, it's quite uh, it's quite good. It's a little bit expensive, but uh, and I don't drink it all the time. But uh, today, uh, somebody gave me this nice, uh, big, huge Starbucks coffee truck for my little anniversary, ordination anniversary. Yeah, uh, celebrated 22 years uh, this past weekend. I'll give a little maybe put in, a little insert of a picture here, here, right there. <laughs> Me and my glory there uh, yesterday, celebrating 22 years. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> now today, um, as I'm kind of doing talking about different things, you're going to probably notice a different background. I'm probably backlit. <laughs> um, uh, everything's changed. Uh, you know what? That's that's the nature of life sometimes. Everything changes. There's an old uh, friend of ours who writes... Uh, uh, contemporary Christian uh, Catholic uh, songs and one of her songs is everything changes and it does and so my little uh, space that I normally used to make these videos at is it's kind of still there but it's everything's all boxed up right now <clears throat> and uh, we you know it's just <clears throat> it's been rearranging everything and so it means that, you know, I make videos, <clears throat> I'll be making videos in a different way. Um, uh, right now, this is probably the, the only space that I've got uh, that's set up with a computer and uh, a place to make videos. So those of you who have gone through remodeling or moving, you can probably uh, empathize and say, yeah, I've been there, done that. So and again, I'm not complaining. Um, you know, life, it's sometimes change is good. Change is good. So <clears throat> anyway, um, probably rolling some of that little B footage, B roll footage there and just showing you, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> the process of, uh, remodeling and, uh, some of the, some of the fun things uh, you can look forward to when you decide you want to remodel. Something. Um, Okay, uh, right now, this pipe here, you probably notice I'm not actually smoking a pipe today. Now, here's the reason. Now, I want to talk about this old beat-up pipe here in a moment, just because I think it's an awesome pipe. Uh, the first time I saw this pipe, I, I wasn't sure if I really liked it or not, but I, I think I really, I think this is an awesome pipe. Maybe we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, um, then uh, some of you may be wondering, old. Oh, uh, Holy Spoon Pipe Padre, you know, you did that TSC challenge and bored us for 10 long weeks. Um, and how are you doing? Are you still, are you still on your kind of, you know, regime to get fit and lose weight and stay in shape? Or, you, or is it just kind of, you gained it all back, you know? And Well, <clears throat> here's another little <clears throat> footage over here. Maybe I'll put it right there. And uh, this was me on Saturday. The old holy smoking pipe body still doing the old exercise thing. Uh, and I was able to knock out 20. Not bad for an old guy. Um, and I've still been <clears throat> partially doing uh, certain things. I've still been walking every day. I've actually been still been running. I, I haven't been doing the free weights um, because um, when I get back to starting that soon, 
um, there's a cycle that I want to do. And next month, within a few weeks, I'm going to have to be gone for a period of time. And I don't want to start the cycle and know that I can't finish it because that's very frustrating. So um, after July 12th, um, I'll have the freedom to start uh, working out on a regular basis with the uh, with the power blocks again. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But uh, anyway, I'm still maintaining uh, the same level of uh, basic fitness that I started before the TSC challenge and uh, diet. Now diet, I've been doing a thing called the, the Whole30 diet. That's why I'm probably not smoking this pipe today. It's not that I don't want to smoke the pipe. It's not that I you know, it's, it's a conscious decision. <clears throat> uh, the Whole30 Diet, if you're interested, those of you who have been kind of following some of my recent uh, progress in health and fitness, might be interested in the Whole30 Diet. Uh, you can look it up. There's a book called, it's it, the book that they promote for their program is called It Starts With Food. Okay, It Starts With Food. So if you're interested in this, now this is a, this is a, what they call uh, an elimination diet. And, um, uh, it's not exactly a, um, when you say diet, again, it's uh, some of the things that I'm trying to get away from are diets and trying to look at things as true lifestyle changes. Um, and for the most part, I'd have to say, in the last 15, 16 months, um, I have created for myself a lifestyle change, uh, which has helped me to get to uh, a, a reasonable uh, level of, of health and fitness that I'm happy with. Um, I've still got a little ways to go, um, I'm still trying to achieve a few extra things, uh, but I, but I would like to, um, and I'll tell you maybe the reason why I got motivated to do this uh, a long time ago. And actually it happened a long time ago and I just didn't start acting on it until recently, but, uh, but again, I, I digress here. <clears throat> but, um, the whole 30 diet is uh, an elimination diet and you eliminate, uh, sugars, you know, processed sugars and grains, yeah, grains. And, and dairy. So you eliminate those three things. There's still plenty of things to eat that are wonderful. Uh, you can have um, basically uh, whole meats, vegetables, tons of vegetables and fruits. Uh, fruits in season. Okay. So uh, again, uh, they recommend that you kind of go easy on the fruits again because of the fructose, but basically you are allowed any kind of fruit you want. Just got to be kind of, a, they, they say, you know, be careful about that, but, but you can have fruits. So there's been cherries are in season right now in my part of the world. I love cherries. Uh, a lot of the other berries are in season. Uh, what other fruits are in season? Of course, watermelons will be in season. So again, you can have lots of uh, fruit. And also, I went back to something. This is something that I'm trying to uh, incorporate. It's sort of like, and it has to do like kind of like with, with you know, kind of like with pipe smoking. Now you probably say, how does diet and fitness have anything to do with pipe smoking? Well, hear me out. You know, in the old. Uh, in the old uh, Holy Smoke and Pipe Padre world, you know, and uh, YouTube video presenter world, you know, we got lots of different folks out there that share their love of the old briar, right? And a lot of people, man, whether there's, you know, the thing that I think is fascinating about, well, pipes and just in, in and of themselves are a fascinating uh, hobby just to collect them, you know, and uh, I love the feel of a pipe in my hand. Um, but, uh, but the tobacco world, you know, pipe tobacco world is just uh, brimming over with, you know, a, a cornucopia of blends, styles of blends, and not to mention the, the name brand blends and uh, the store blends and uh, the pouch blends and the tin blends and the bulk blends and you name it. I mean, there's just a lot of people out there making lots of very tasty for the most part, tobacco, pipe tobaccos. And uh, sometimes, you know, people, I don't know if they actually would ever consider themselves um, in one particular camp, i.e. I'm an English smoking person only, or I'm an aromatic person smoking, not uh, pipe smoker only, you know. I don't think most people limit themselves. Now, there may be a few people who, for whatever reason, they might be that focused in their the love of the tobaccos and things. Uh, I remember one time even old Jay, you know, would uh, ask, you know, to determine, are you a, a, a bent pipe smoker kind of a person or a straight pipe smoker kind of a person, you know. Don't know if it matters that much, 
Um, but anyway, the thing is that with diet, you know, sometimes I think what's kind of interesting is that there are a lot of healthy things out there. And sometimes <clears throat> you get conflicting reports. You shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that, you know. And one of them is uh, uh, how I started this thing about 16 months ago, uh, 15 months ago. Uh, and actually, I'd started it four years ago. I remember seeing on, on my um, videos, I was going through uh, iPhoto yesterday looking for some old pictures. And I found some old little video clips that I had shot back in uh, 2009, 2010 of juicing. Yeah, I was doing juicing, you know, four years ago, off and on. And I lost about 30 pounds the very first time I did juicing, but I just didn't stay with it. Now, again, you don't have to juice. Uh, some people do, some people don't. I'm not talking about tobacco juice now. That can be, ugh, that can make you pretty sick. Uh, but what I am talking about, uh, in as far as the world of health and fitness goes, um, I started, you know, still, you know, because th sometimes there's, there's like, again, there's things that, if you, if you subscribe to this one thing, then it kind of eliminates other things. For example, if you're doing juicing, they'll say, well, then just do juicing. Don't do anything else. Now, I don't know if that's a, a, a wise thing to say that. I don't know. Maybe there's some practical cal maybe practical ca practicality to it. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm, I'm working on it now. But, um, but I think uh, having a, a glass of, uh, of homemade juice. Now, again, I'm not talking about store-bought sugar juice. I'm not talking about that. That's not... Sorry, that's not the juice I'm talking about. I'm talking about the home made stuff from real raw vegetables, you know, and some fruits. That's that's what I'm talking about. So if you're doing that, great. And, and I think it, it, it's helping me uh, as I go through my elimination diet. Uh, hopefully my skin is starting to clear up a little bit. I used to have all these little red spots on there. I'm kind of noticing I don't see any red spots now. I have some freckles maybe and some little aging spots, but, huh, let's see, usually I have like these little red welts, uh, hives, and I've been on this uh, elimination diet now for what, 12 days now, 13 days, and uh, it's supposed to, again, uh, take out the uh, sugars, grains, and dairy are big culprits of, uh, of, of skin flare-ups. I got a little skin thingy up here. I don't know if that was me just messing with my skin or whatever, but uh, <clears throat> I have bad skin. You know, I always have since I was a teenager. And a lot of it I know is due to diet. And uh, <clears throat> so if you eliminate, <clears throat> you know, the, the big culprits, the big three, the sugar, the grains, and the dairy, uh, and, you, and you do that consistently for a few weeks, even a month or two, they say sometimes it might even take more than 30 days. It might take 60 days to get the results that you're really looking for. But your body begins to heal up, and that's the that's the wonderful thing. So <clears throat> the only thing I could probably say is if um, I do have a little spot there, it's only because I think uh, I might have overdone a little bit of sugar yesterday So and some fruits. So sometimes I overdo it a little bit, but uh, not, not a lot. So anyway, <clears throat> so I'm doing some juicing in addition to the elimination diet. I have a nice big salad and I have a little bit of steak or chicken, fish, uh, and sometimes a sweet potato, you know, or a, um, uh, or, a, or a yam, which is actually a sweet potato here in America. They, I found that out, so they're the same thing. But, uh, but eliminating white starches is, is like rice, white rice and uh, white potatoes and those kinds of uh, nightshade uh, plants. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Let me get another one. A sip of coffee here. Mm. So anyway, I just wanted to um, touch bases with you all. Um, kind of showing you again the new digs of the videos in the background that have been playing with me throughout this video. Say hi to many of you. Looking forward to seeing one of our presenters uh, coming this way. Old uh, uh, the gentleman scholar might be paying us a visit, make a video together. That'd be kind of cool. I'd like to see that. Um, uh, a couple of you have been really kind in your comments, and uh, I, I have to I could be honest with you, I'm, I'm delinquent checking my uh, my inbox. I guess the inbox in the YouTube has been kind of sequestered, and I guess you still get some comments 
from time to time and then there's another comment mm -hmm. section and and then there's the Google Plus comment section so I'm I'll be honest with you folks I I, I kind of gave up trying to figure out Google Plus and how it interacts with YouTube I, all I know is that <clears throat> sometimes I see comments sometimes I'll go to the actual video and try to respond there uh, so if you if I haven't responded to you yet please don't be too upset with me I'm I love it when people, you know, comment on the videos, certainly, and I try to get back to you when I can. Uh, I'm going to, today is, in fact, it's probably, this is like the first full free day I've had in probably three or three weeks because we've been, you know, moving stuff around. And um, I even was out on the back. We have a back uh, uh, patio uh, place I have never shot before. And I actually tried to do a video back there but it never it never got posted so I don't think I'll put it up there now so anyway I tried to respond some to some folks so <clears throat> if you feel like I'm not paying attention or I'm being rude I, for, first I ask you to forgive me and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and and, and uh, talk to you and you know uh, see what you're asking me because I have I noticed I had a few people asking me different questions about different things and I'm just kind of like uh, didn't read really read the comment. I just went, noticed that it was there, and I went, "Well, I'll, I'll deal with it later." You know, just really trying to uh, refocus on um, kind of putting my world back together. You know, kind of exploded. You know, three or four weeks ago, and now it's kind of coming back together. But everything, if you if I showed you, I'm a little too embarrassed. This 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 looks nice and neat and tidy. You know, but you don't see everything else. It's all in boxes and paper bags, and it looks pretty. It looks it looks like I looks like I'm a, a nomadic kind of a person. I'm you know, I'm a, a, almost a homeless person, which is not bad. I mean, hey, who knows? Uh, anyway, but um, so that's 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 where I'm at today. I just wanted to make this little video and kind of let you folks know I'm still uh, still out there and. At the end of my whole thirty, oh, that's the other thing about the whole thirty diet. You're supposed to eliminate tobacco. And personally, I think it's uh, more in, in tune with trying to help people quit smoking. Uh, those who, you know, let's see if I can get a, get my camera to focus now. My camera's not focusing. Focus, camera, come on. There we go. So it may be their way of helping people, you know, through diet. You know, uh, if you're like a you know chain cigarette smoker. To stop smoking cigarettes but I, I just wanted to be in you know kind of uh, honor the the spirit of the thing and say well you know I can smell a little bit of residual burnt tobacco and it smells wonderful it does smell delicious uh, but I um, I just you know I'm not like I said we've, we've talked about this before haven't we you know again addictions and 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 uh, the difference between a, a, an enjoyment and an addiction is the addiction controls you and you don't control it control it anymore and therefore the enjoyment's gone uh, would i enjoy a pipe right this moment yeah i i probably would i would i most definitely would but i don't need to to have a pipe i want to get this one old this old pipe fixed um i don't know if joe case ever watches my videos but joe case if you're watching and you think you might be able to fix this old kilimanjaro cherry wood i might send it your way of course, I pay you for it, but um, it's it's an old pipe. I don't know if this was like a meerschaum lining in here, or just it was. Uh, I don't know. My friend gave me his pipe collection many, many, many years ago, probably thirty years ago. Old Steve, my old buddy, and uh, he quit smoking. You know, he was a he was an he was an inveterate pipe smoker for many, many years, and he just had to give it up. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, this was one of his collection, and I like cherry woods and. This is very akin to my Ashton, and I thought, gosh, I'd like to get this fixed up. Maybe I can take it into the briar patch, and they can send it off and see what they can do with it anyway. And by the way, that's the other thing, too, is I'm going to be sending in my uh, my, my little uh, stable of pipes to be cleaned and and beautified up, you know, pur purdied up, and uh, then I'll put them back in a new clean house. So look forward to that. Okay, dear pipe friends, thanks for watching. We'll be talking to you soon. I'll get back to those of you who've left comments soon. And uh, again, light up your world today. Light up your pipe. We'll see you soon. Bye.